Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at categories and KDP books and that includes low content books, your non-fiction books and fiction books. And I'm going to tell you why getting the right category is important if you're going to make those important sales and collect royalties. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. If you do like the video give it a thumbs up, it's very much appreciated. So in this video I'm going to tell you why picking the correct category is important. I'm going to tell you how to search and make a list of the categories that you can list your book in and then I'm going to tell you how to pick the best or the two best categories for your book. When a book is listed we can see here that it has a bestsellers rank in all of the books on Amazon and it also has a bestsellers rank in two categories. Now you can have more than two categories and the way to do that is to email KDP with your ASIN number and ask to be put in different categories. But for the most part, most books have an overall rank in books and two ranks in two different categories. If you want this pop up that you can see here, then you would need to download the DS Amazon Quick View plugin for Chrome. And it just makes life a lot easier rather than having to click on the book, scroll down to see what categories a book is in and to see what the bestsellers rank is. So why is getting in the right category important? Well it's important for two reasons. The first one is when someone's searching for a book they'll often click on a book and then they'll scroll down and they'll see that the book is in a couple of categories. And if they're looking for books in that particular category, they may well click on that. And if your book is in that related or relevant category, there's a chance they could come across your book and you can make a sale. So there's a chance of increasing your sales. The other important thing is that different categories have different amount of competition for the number one spot. And if you get that number one spot in a particular category, you can get this all important little bestsellers um, tag or flag and I'll show you. Here we have a book, a father's guided journal and you get this little orange bestsellers tag. Now that's important because one, it catches people's eyes and people like to buy what other people are buying. So if you've got a book that's marked as bestseller, people are more inclined to click, click on your book and obviously then you're more inclined to make a sale. The other thing is it can help in your overall rankings in Amazon. It gives you a bit more juice for the, for the ranking system. So you'll tend to um, rank higher for your particular chosen keywords and therefore again have a good chance of making more sales. Now there is one thing I want to tell you and that is some publishers or authors will list their books in categories that have less competition for that number one slot and often it's in an irrelevant category. Let me show you this example again that we just looked at. Here you can see this is a, a father's guided journal but they've got the number one spot in the category of juggling. Now this book has nothing to do with juggling. So you'll find that some people will search out those really obscure categories where it's easier, easier to rank for number one and will aim to get their bestsellers flag from that. Now whether that's ethical is debatable, um, certainly not something that I would normally do. You're almost gaming the system and it doesn't appear that Amazon punishes you for this. But I think in order for customers to get the best experience, which is what Amazon wants, I think it's worthwhile just sticking to those relevant um, categories for your book. So the aim of picking the right category is to make a list of suitable categories that your book could be listed in and then pick the two best categories for that. In order to pick the best category there's three main ways. One is to do it manually, the other is to do it with, a, with a free search tools or the other is with paid search tools. To do it manually 
you would go to your KDP dashboard. And on the first page in the categories, categories box, you would click on choose categories and just go through the list, clicking on the little plus signs to find the best categories that would be applicable to your book. The other way, if we look at this example where I've put in Father's Day Journal in the search box, would be to go down the list of books and using the, the, the plugin tool that I mentioned, you can just hover over each book, see which categories similar books are listed in and make a list of those categories. And you can do that in a spreadsheet like I've done here. So you could just go down and look at relevant categories. Now you'll find that, as I said earlier, some books are listed in categories that are not really relevant. Things like here, you've got scrapbooking and seasonal crafts. Well, this is just a, a Father's Day journal. And so they're probably the not really relevant categories, but something like this book here, where you've got guided journals, journal writing, self-help would probably be more appropriate. And you'd want to write those in your spreadsheet. The other way would be to use a free search tool. Now, one search tool is kindleranker.com. Now this will only allow you to do three free searches per day, but if you pay 99 cents, you can do unlimited searches on both amazon.com and amazon.co.uk. So here we have an example. We've got Kindle Ranker. I've put coloring in the search box and it comes up with all the lists of relevant categories. So it's done the job for you. And also it will give the best sellers rank of the number one book in each category, which will be important for a moment. And I'll, I'll tell you why that is important. The third way is using paid tools and you can find paid tools at bookbolt.io. Uh, they've got publisher rocket, which is a, a downloadable app. And you've also got tangent templates and these all have similar to Kindle ranker. They have this functionality where you put in keywords related to your book and you'll be given a list of relevant categories. And if you do it that way, like we showed with the method earlier, you would create a list of relevant categories like I've done here. And this is a quick list I wrote for the Father's Day journals. Uh, and these were categories that I found, not all relevant categories because I've included the juggling one here. Um, but we've got guided journals, journal writing, family activities and fatherhood. And what you would then do is manually go to Amazon, click on that category. So if we show you how to do that, so you go down here, guided journals, click on the category and it will give a list of all the books in that category. So the aim is with the, the manual, the method, the, the free paid tools or the paid tools is to create a list in a spreadsheet of relevant categories like I showed you a moment ago. So here, when I searched, I put down the, the categories and I also included um, the juggling one for the Father's Day book, which was an irrelevant one. So you probably want to exclude that. And then what you want to do is to find the best sellers rank of the number one book in that category. So if we go through to our list of Father's Day's books, we could I'll pick a different one. We could go to our book, we've got the plugin, and then we'd click on the relevant categories that our book could be listed in. So we'll go to guided journals here, and we'll see that the number one um, book in that category has a bestsellers rank of 68. I've written here 73, because that's what it was earlier this morning. So we'd fill in the bestsellers rank there. And likewise, you go through the other categories. So we go back, hover over the book again, and then we'd click on the next relevant category. This happens to be the same book, so it'll have the same bestsellers rank and so on. So you can choose your um, categories in that way, create your list in that way. If you've got one of the, the other tools, you can do that because it will give you the list of categories and you can write them in a spreadsheet. And then what we want to do is to get an idea of how many books we'd need to sell per day or per month to get into that um, number one position and get our little bestsellers tag. Now this is gonna be very difficult. 
I've only ever achieved it once and that was with a short story I wrote some years ago. Um, I've not achieved that with any of my low content books that I'm aware of, but there's certainly a possibility that you could achieve that if you really sort of went for it with the right book. So you'd use a calculator like this, the Amazon sales calculator, and you would go through each bestsellers rank like this. You put in the 68 and see how many sales you would need to make per month. So that's at 68, that's 12,099 books per month. So if you were getting that number of sales, you'd be doing pretty well and making a lot of money and you'd work down your list that way. So you can see um, I did the, the juggling one and that's the number one there had a bestsellers rank of 2,265. So in order to get that spot, you'd still need to be selling 1,212 books per month. So it's still, it would be still, you know, tricky with one book to get there. But again, possible. But there are some categories where the, the number one book has quite high bestsellers ranks. Uh, but they may not be relevant to your, to your book, so I'd advise ignoring them. And then basically what I would do is you've made a list of relevant categories. You've got an idea of which ones would be slightly easier to get the, the number one uh, slot, although it might be extremely difficult, and you would pick those two categories, and it's simple as that. So that's how I would go about picking the um, two best categories for my books. Now, I just want to show you something on Kindle Ranker, because for each category, it does give you the best sellers rank of the number one book. However, it says this is for eBooks. So just be aware if you use this tool that it says it's for eBooks and just double check in those categories what the actual bestsellers rank of the number one is. However, you get an idea just by looking at this list, which would be the two best categories because you want the ones with the, the highest bestsellers rank. So for this, um, I probably wouldn't even go and search. I would just say, okay, well, these two look the, the most relevant so that's how I would go about picking the two best or most relevant categories for my book. So in summary, you want to pick categories that are relevant to your books and you can either do it manually with free tools or paid tools and you want to pick the two categories where it would be the easiest to get the possible number one slot, although it'd still be extremely difficult. You still need to sell a lot of books. And in order to determine that, you'd pick the category where the number one book had the highest bestsellers rank, i.e. it was selling the, the least number of books compared to the other categories. So that's it for now. I hope that um, explains the whole category business a bit and how you can go about choosing the best category. So until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.